Mr. Takarios, heavens, fancy seeing you here. Tara! That can't be you, can it? I suppose you won't be terribly shocked to find your old friend Tara amongst the pigeons. They've always been a personal favourite. My, is that a ring? For us? Oh, you shouldn't have. Enjoy yourself now, Tara. Looks like you've got yourself set up quite nicely here. She isn't my Trezim. She's my friend. And from the looks of things, it appears she's eating pigeons. Oh, right. Did you hear that, Tara? Um, stop it? Well, these must be important birds indeed, Mr. Dakarios. Forgive me for feasting on their bodies and bones so very voraciously. Oh, she's agreed. Just about. Tara remains as willful as ever. But I'm glad you finally made her acquaintance. Given the length of my time away, I feared she might have given up on me. Oh, I should have known better. She'd never do such a thing. I wouldn't have her any other way. I'd actually been thinking about introducing the two of you anyway. Over a sumptuous home-cooked meal, if that sounds at all to your taste. My tower in Waterdeep boasts an excellent kitchen and a wine cellar to rival Ondor himself. Not to mention a larder stocked with my homemade Hundor sauce. A water Davian delicacy, spiced to leave exactly the right amount of heat lingering on the tongue and served with that most sharp tooth of Aquarian residence, the quipper fish. I make it to my mother's recipe. That's quite a wallop, as does she. Oh, you have something more private in mind, no? No, don't tell me. I'll let my imagination fill in the gaps. I can hardly wait. More than you could possibly believe. Now that we've got something to look forward to, I think it's time we went and saved the world, don't you?